everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardo. And today we're going through the final ruler of the new set, the Epic of the Dragon Lord, and it is the Dragon Lord himself. So it's gonna be kind of a video, so yes. just know that, because he plays Highlander, so it ha kinda has to be. Yeah. Um, but this ruler is actually super fun, and he's a lot stronger than I gave him credit for, and he definitely has his place. Oh yeah, for sure. But before we get into this deck, I just remind you guys that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below, you'll find the link to our Force World Grimoire, which is our Force World deck builder slash database app. And it's a really good like utility tool to just like build a deck on the fly or whatever you're doing. You're like, hey, I need to know what this card does. You can look it up. We use it all the time to look up cards and build decks all the time. So it's yeah. really nice. With that, let's delve into the deck called Dragon Lord, because that's it's our Lord and Savior Dragon Man. So, dude is Ragnarok, the invading Dragon Lord. He does not have a J ruler side, so that's kind of neat. Um, he energizes for like just regular color. Yeah. Just like a one mana generic. But you may not have one more than of any copy of any card in your deck. And then you can pay X, where X is the number of times you've already played this ability in this game. Choose one that has not been chosen in this game. Play this ability only during your turn. Yes. So. So you technically have seven extra cards in your hand. Yeah. At you all get times. a whole bunch of free abilities. Well, not free, but a whole bunch of extra abilities. It's ridiculous. And the first one does cost zero. So don't forget that. It's still zero is still a cost. Yeah. So you're like, cool, the first one's free, and you can do all kinds of stuff. So, they are. Produce two wheels in any combination of any attribute. Copy target chance spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. Draw three cards. Remove all additions and regalias your opponent controls and all cards in your opponent's graveyard from the game. Destroy all J resonators. Remove all resonators your opponent controls from the game. So, you're going to pay some mana to do these, but it's fine. Yeah, like, it's all those are powerful. Because each turn, you essentially do one, you're like, cool... Pay zero, draw three, or pay one, draw three, however many, and then the next one costs one more. So each yeah. one just costs another one to play. So literally on turn one, you can have a four drop, right? Because mm -hmm. you tap for a stone, you use the energize will, and you use his first ability of getting two mana. Yeah. Two will. And you're just like, here's a four drop. Yeah. Enjoy. And it just, it's one of those things that you got to remember that, like, your opponent has to pay attention to because they'll, they'll run into it too quickly. I've seen it happen when they're just like, cool, I get... I get board presents, so let's drop four dudes. And you're like, cool, I pay two mana and remove all your dudes. Yeah. Like, thanks. You just have to pay attention to what he's done. And get out of here, Gil slash the new Gil slash <laughs> yeah. Wilson. There we go. Yeah. Where we can actually kill you because you have barrier. But that is it for him. He does not have a J ruler side, so you can't judge on him. Yeah. It just don't. kind of is cool. Don't need to. Yeah. All right, so let's delve into it. Yep. So the first one, Yudrasil, of course. Uh, the Heroic Spirit of the World Tree. It's a one generic mana, the zero four. Enter. Search your deck for a regalia that shares an attribute uh, of the will that you paid. Reveal it and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Tap. Produce one will of any attribute. Spend this only to play the regalia. Simple as that. Yeah. It's to help you get regalia. That's why he's there. Uh, we're playing the Wind Servant of Ragnarok, which is one green. Uh, it's a 1-5 with quick cast. Enter. Produce one will of any man attribute. If your ruler is Ragnarok, you produce three instead. So that it's really simple. Yeah. It's just a one man to make three. Done. And get a dude. Water Servant of Ragnarok, it's a one drop. Uh, blue, four, four, enter, draw a card. If you have Ragnarok, you draw three cards instead. <laughs> Solid. Nice. Thanks, value. Uh, next is the Morning Angel. It is one white, quick cast, four, four, uh, flyer. Remove up to three cards in, in a graveyard from the game. This is actually to help target your stuff too. If you need to remove a certain card to get it back, you can. Is this a different art on this picture? Or? No, it's the same art. Oh, I've never actually, actually focused on it. It's really <laughs> yeah. good. Uh, Mor Morgina, Morgana, the, the wise servant. One drop, three, three. If you would draw a card in a phase other than your draws phase, you may look at the top three cards of your deck. You put one of them in your hand and the rest of the bottom deck of any order instead. This is very powerful for a one drop, for sure. So with this on Ragnarok, you're like, cool, play this. And then now it's my main phase. You're like, cool, pay, pay zero, draw two, and I'm going to dig 60. Yeah, and grab whatever <laughs> card you need you're like, at cool. the time. Neat. Very powerful. Uh, Makage Rea is one black quick cast 4-4. Four, four. Enter. Look at search your deck for a darkness card. Put it in your graveyard. Shuffle your deck. Vampires gain drain. Uh, and then whenever this card is vanished as an additional cost of a mage art or by an effect of a mage art, put this card from graveyard to your hand. Yep. 
And it's there for part of the true power. We'll get to that. And it's just a good combo piece. It's just, yeah, she's just amazing. Guinevere, the Jealous Queen, the one drop, two, four. Tap, banish a Resonator, draw two cards and discard one. And then you can pay a tap, red. Target Resonator gain, uh, control gains plus four, plus four until the turn. When it deals damage or is dealt damage this turn, its controller banishes, banishes it. So, you know, simple thing. Mostly you're drawing cards with her. Yeah, you just want to sack little, all your little one drops. Um, Gatekeeper of El Safaria, it is one red, quick cast, zero, seven. Uh, you treat light and red dudes as goddesses. That doesn't really matter. Uh, this card gets plus 100 for each card in your removed area. And then enter, you may remove any number of cards from your hand from the game, draw that many cards. That's why this is here, because if you don't like your mulligan, you can be like, cool, get rid of these cards. I need a certain card. Yeah. So, sounds good. And then it's already huge at the yeah. time. And late game with Ragnarok, you can remove your own graveyard, right? So yeah. you can do that. So next one is Flute slash group of comets so it's a one white barrier tap peruse white tap put a one one counter on another entity you control but the one that you probably will use it for is the chant of uh three white and one destroy all j resonators with no one one counters on yeah it's a board wipe yep. slash dude that's good uh ziz is a blue and a green for a seven seven flyer what'd you call me additions and uh, regalia you control gain barrier and then tap produce one will of any attribute oh good so that it's there to just help keep your stuff alive, really. It really going with that Birds of Paradise thing. Yeah. Thing, right? A Light Servant of Ragnarok. It's a one white, one quick cast, five, seven. This card gets plus zero, plus 1,000 as long as you control Ragnarok. And then if any damage would be dealt to you is dealt to this card instead. I think this card's awesome. Yeah. Super powerful. This card in Ragnarok's really good because it's just a huge booty that's just is like, hey, I'm going to block yeah. or take all the damage because yeah, I can't. That's 17... Under damage, so pretty good. Uh, next is our boy Sigurd, the Covenant King. He is a black and a green for an 8-8. Eight, eight. Play this card only from your graveyard. Zombies you control gain Bane. And then enter, search your deck for a Darkness Edition that's two or less and put it into the field. And this, the Zombies gain Bane actually does come into effect in this deck, which is actually kind of fun. Nice. Fire Servant of Ragnarok. It's a uh, one red and two, eight, eight. Choose one when it enters. This card deals 1,000 damage to target player or J Resonator. Hey, that's good. Actually, this card does 1,000 damage to tar three target players slash J, J slash Resonators if you, you know, choose Ragnarok as your ruler. Yeah, this dude's real good in Ragnarok because you're just like, cool, that dude takes 1,000, you take 1,000, that dude takes 1,000. It's kind of weird that it gives you the illusion of choice because <laughs> you say choose one, enter one, and if you do the other one when you don't have Ragnarok, then you don't get to do it. Yeah. Anyways, that's weird. <clears throat> that's weird. Uh, next is Izanami, this, the God of Life. It is two white and one for an 8-8 eight, eight with Drain and Barrier Resonator. You gain Barrier as well. Uh, two white and red, discard this card, put target Resonator. Total cost three or less, we go into the field. So all of your little servants of Ragnarok, you get all of those back easily to do your dead lilies one. Nice. Darkness Servant of Ragnarok. It's a black and two. It's an 8-8, eight, eight, flying, enter, choose one, destroy target Resonator, okay. Destroy three slash J Resonators. Choose this option of only if you control. That one's the most powerful one. Yeah, it choose, it choose sure. a J Resonator. It's just like, hey, kill your J. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't care. Just, I don't care. And your two other dudes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, next up is the Elegant Mikage Sisters slash Eternal Recurrence. Yep. Uh, it is three black for the Mikage Sisters for a 9-9 nine, nine with Flying Drain and Bane. Whenever this card deals damage, put two counters on it. Pay zero, return it to your hand. And then you can pay a black and three less to play cards that are called Eternal Recurrence. And the, the eternal recurrence is two black and three destroy all resonators. Simple so as that. You swing in with her and then you bounce her and then play her to kill the board. Yep. That's what you're doing. That's good. That's good. Next one is Nidhogg. It's a uh, two white, two black, 12, 12. You gain barrier. It has flying. Enter. Look at your opponent's hand. Choose up to two cards then remove them from the game. And when this card leaves the battlefield, they get to have those cards again. But it's still a 12, 12 flyer that, you know, makes it where it takes two cards out of their hand uh next is our boy mikage sejiro this card's insane yep. it's a green and three black for a 12 12 flying precision whenever his name dealt damage by this card is put in the graveyard you gain control of it and it becomes a vampire in addition to its other types um it does things with strangers we don't really care about that we're yep. not playing strangers and then enter you can pay any amount of life this card deals damage equal to that to the target resonate your opponent control so you like cool pay 10 deal 10 to your 10 10 i get it seems awesome and of course, we have to have Griffin, uh, black, green, four, 12, 12 flying. 
Doesn't matter, because when this card enters your field, put the top two cards of your Magic Stone deck into the field. And he'll probably be coming from the graveyard, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you play him from the graveyard. Uh, the first other spell of the game, or the deck, is Genesis. It's a Regalia. It's zero cost uh, Mythic. If your J-Roller isn't Magnet, it comes in Rested. So it's going to come in Rested, but that's Big okay. Cup, it's free. Uh, produce one will of any attribute. Spin this will. Only play God's Arts, uh, 12 Apostles, Sword Arts, and Mage Arts. So most of the dudes that you can play are pretty easy to play. Interdimensional Graveyard. It's a one-drop uh, darkness spell or addition. At the end of your turn, remove target resonator in a graveyard in a graveyard from the game. Put a four-four darkness zombie token in the field. This card is insane. It's also at the end of turn, not your turn. Oh, just end of turn. My turn, your turn. I, I get a four-four. A great dudes. This card is insanity. I, I didn't realize how good this card was inside until I played it, and I was just like, "What is and, this card?" Yeah, you target their graveyard on their turn and you get a 4-4. Four, four. And even better, your boy Sigurd goes and gets it. Because he goes and gets a black edition. So you're just like, cool, put that in play. And make zombies. <laughs> make zombies. And then eat Sigurd with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next is Memory of Disappearance. There's one red, put target card from your removed area into your hand. So any of those cards that removed that you like removed from the little angel earlier, you get back. Mm -hmm. Next one is Yudrasil's Grace. It's a one drop quick cast. Remove target resonator from the game at the end of turn. Put the put it into the field in the owner's control. So just any time you need to bounce things. All the all the servants of Ragnarok, you get their entry triggers again. Oh yeah. Uh, next is Lover's Lock. It's a blue black for quick cast uh, Regalia, and it's just there. You don't really care. It doesn't trigger anything on quick cast. You're just playing it for the mage arts, and that's really about it. Yep. Next one is Death Scythe, uh, the black green Regalia, and you're tapping to spend a black and a green for a mage arts as well. And then of course, if you need to put it back, then remove three cards from the graveyard. Yeah, and this can play Sigurd too. Yeah. Uh, next is Caduceus. This is a white and red. Your J Ruler gains drain. Uh, tap, produce two wills of any red or white. And then spin this only for Mage Arts, 12 Apostle, Activate Abilities, or Strangers. But... Yeah. All right. Vel Savara, filled of the in or filled of the final battle. It's a red and a white. Enter, you may. Oh, it's an addition. Okay, sorry. Enter, you may search your deck for a card named Caduceus or Genesis and put it into the field, then shuffle your deck. You may play the attribute cost of 12 protective deities with any will, which is very something awesome that you need. Yeah, that's why it's here, because it allows you to play all your 12 apostles or 12 deities that we have in here. Relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, next is the Starlit Canopy. It is two white for an addition that removes the target non magister non general entity, three or less from the game. And then whenever one or more counters is put on it, draw a card. So if you have blue in play, you can just keep putting counters on this to get free things. But mostly it's there to remove it. Yeah, which is very powerful. Yeah. Space Time Anomaly. It's a black and a blue uh, mage art quick cast remnant. So target J Resonator gains minus 500, minus 500 until in a turn, draw a card. And remnant, you can cast it from the graveyard. So this and is Lover's really... Lock cast it for free because you just use the mana. Yep. Uh, next is Cage of Mother Goose. It is a white and a black addition. Uh, it comes into play, you remove target J Resonator slash J, J non J Ruler, non Magic Stone Entity from the game. When this card leaves the field, put that card back into play. And this you go get with Sigurd as well, because you're just like, cool, I need to do this. Yeah, you need to go ahead and do this. Does Sigurd get only a black addition? A black two drop or okay. addition. Okay, so also we'll get this. Uh, Schrodinger, it's a black and white addition. Quick cast, enter, remove target Regalia or Resonator your, uh, you control from the game. Put in the field, rest it under the owner's control so you can bounce your uh, things again and that's all really it's really there to blink yeah uh next is a part of true power it is a green and a black for an image art with remnant as additional cost to play this card banish a resonator so you banish makage reya hopefully put target darkness card darkness resonator from your graveyard to the field so you get a griffin on turn two hopefully yep. this one uh, awakening of ambition it's a black and a blue mage art look at your opponent's hand choose a card they put that card in the bottom of the deck if this card was awakened, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and then put it in your hand. And then awakening is discard two cards, but... Yeah, the only reason you would ever really need to awaken this is if you have Sigurd in your hand, you need to get it in the graveyard. Yep. Um, awakening of the Undead Lord is a green and a black for a quick cast, mage art. This card does 400 damage to each resonator. You gain life to the amount of damage dealt this card. Banish any number of resonators, draw them any cards, or put an XX Darkness Dude into play where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. So the later the game goes, the more you get to do with this card. The yeah. bigger the dude, or you get to kill more things. Light of ra Rain. Raise and Revive. I just want to say Raz all the time. <laughs> uh, chant Mage Art. Choose one. Remove target non-J-Roller, non-Magic Stone Entity with total cost of three or less from the game. 
or put a resin here with total cost three or less from your removed area from the field into the field, or search your deck for a light reg uh, regalia, reveal it, and put it in your hand. It does a lot. Yeah, this card does a whole lot. And again, with the angel, if you've removed it, you can get it back. Yep. Same with this card, release. It is a white and one. <clears throat> put a non magic stone, non -ma or non magic stone card from the removed area into your hand, draw a card. So just helps you get your cards back. So one for two, pretty good. Uh, resistance of the 12 protective deities it's a red and a white quick cast when this card is played produced by caduceus and put it in the owner's hand as it resolves so you can just keep casting it choose one look at the top two cards of your deck uh, put a card from uh, from among them into your hand and remove the others from the game or put a 12 protective deities from your hand into the field yeah so if you have caduceus in this then you get to free card draw really is what it's there for. yeah You're like yeah. cool dig two put one in my hand remove the other or just a free place a dude in the field real yeah. quick uh the princess of love takes control it is a black and two blue for a quick cast mage art uh put target resonator or regalia on the bottom of its owner's deck put two target resonators from your graveyard into your hand choose a card from your stranger deck at random that doesn't matter no but most of you're going to be putting dudes away that's most of what it's for and the next one is Makagi Sudro's Game of De Dreams. It's a two green, two black. Each player puts all resonators from their graveyard in the field, then each player banishes all resonators not put in the field this way. So you just sw swap those, and that can be very dangerous. So in this deck with that card, it's super dangerous for a multitude of reasons. Because if you have the dark, if you have all your little Ragnarok dudes, they get to kill most of their dudes. Or you can just use your ruler's ability to remove their graveyard for free. Yeah. And then just be like, cool, I get all my dudes back. Thanks. You got nothing. Uh, next is Dance of the Shadows. It is one black and three for a uh, mage art quick cast remnant. Put target resonator from your graveyard into the field. At the end of turn, it die. It removes it from the game. So you're like, cool, end of turn, bring back this dude. No stuff. Yep. Oh, you have this this card in it? Okay. The Origin of the Seven Lands. It's all five will edition. But what it actually does is one, you reveal this card from your hand. You may reveal this card from own, that you own outside a game and keep it revealed until in game, into the game. Produce one will of any attribute shared with that card. Play this ability only during your turn, once per turn, and only if you didn't play activated ability of cards named Origin the Seven Lanes. So enter if you own cards named all the J rulers, pretty much. Yeah. Varia, Melgus, Prisia, Valentina, Machina, Rizard, and Arya. They are, they. you create a copy of those onto the oh, field. Of the J side, oh, yeah. the J side, yeah. Yeah, so this card I tried before, but for whatever reason, it took the Highlander deck where you can only have one of them for you to get it in your hand opening game almost every time. Yeah. It's weird. I've seen it happen and trigger in this deck so much. And it's because of Ragnarok's ability to just control the field and like give you enough time to do that. Uh, that is it for the deck. The stones are relatively simple. We have Ruler's Memoria. It comes into play tapped unless you control a Regalia and it adds one of any color, so you need it. Uh, Magic Stone of Scorch Bale, which is the red black duel. Heaven's Rift, which is the black white duel. Dark Depths, which is the blue black duel. And Black Silence, which is the green black duel. So we have the colors covered. The deck is actually a lot of fun and it's a lot more difficult to deal with than you think it is. And it's, it's got a lot of survivability and it's mostly off of Ragnarok, but it is what it is. Yep. Uh, with that, guys, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out and then give us a like in the comments. We'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.